I wasn't expecting to get anything, so I just pulled my first charge while I was not speaking or even on cam, and here it is. Yo, what up, guys? It's 5D here. This is the moment we've all been waiting for in the Emmy Tron Card Fusion Summon Rush and the upcoming Champion Chase, which will determine whether you can complete this fusion or not. If you head over into the game, we already know by now that the Summon Rush launched with 3,000 points for just 25 fragments. It's crazy, it's too high, it's too expensive. You have two choices to make. Count your shots right now. If you can make it, stop this fusion. If you, I mean, if you can't make it, stop this fusion. But if you know you can at least do the summon rush and maybe save some fragments towards the champion chase, then go ahead. But this is too expensive for just a champion who has um is gonna activate unkillable for a lot of newer players on their clan boss team. I hear it's gonna be difficult to tune him, but we just want to get him first, then we'll figure out how to use him later. So that's the number of points right there 3000 fragments on the high side normally i was expecting 2150 that was what i was expecting to just get this fragment because this is not an entire epic champion we're getting remember this is just 25 fragments of this champion you still have three other events to do to get the full epic so it's high normally they keep a rare champion or a, a five fragments or something fragments usually the entire fragment for a normal fusion is around this 250 so now that i included it to 25 and made it this way at least they didn't break it to 10 here and 15 here and make you pick some here and pick some here if they break it that way people will look for other ways to get fragments i think so they just kept it all in the same place i hope all other events and uh, that are coming up will have all the fragments in one place but the new to pro is where this is going to affect the most because my account is fine these are the number of points or the type of shards you should pull to get points for this um summon rush event 500 per secret shard is the best way to complete this event so you need to pull how many is that six am i right six fragments right here well i'm gonna be pulling only two and that will give me only 1000 points Two secret shots but i do have um some ancient shot and voice shot any so mystery shots so help me complete this in any way i've done the math but let me go ahead and pull start the shot pool on my main account i have enough but the new to pro will switch over to that account after i'm done with this shot pool so i'm just going to go ahead and pull five right here and use no let me start with voice shots because remember this coincides with a 10x for these amazing champions the one that i'm looking forward to getting the most is a crazy this champion has escaped my grasp for a long time i still don't have her on my team and i can see all the crazy things she's doing in raid so this is a champion that i definitely desperately need so i can join the ranks of those endgame players who are flexing her in any dungeon content or any endgame content that she's the main damage dealer so that's why i'm pulling void shot normally i will not touch my void this is not a 2x void right this is not a 2x weekend this is just for this fusion so i'll be pulling these four void shots which will get me about close to 500 points and then i'll pull five of this so with that may i'll use mystery shots to complete the rest so let me just go ahead and pull i have enough for the next two x secrets which is probably in three weeks time so i have no problem with pulling um five that's 500 points in the bag someone rush no other way to go i'm not even expecting any legendaries maybe this other dude that places fear leech that's a champion for the rising fusion right just as you say you're not expecting legendary something great happened the noob pro is hoping to get a geomancer from those two secret shards at least give the and i got a legendary and it's R rorik winebane isn't this a fusion champion rorik winebane what does it do you think is one champion that i've gotten and i never built i thought it's a fusion champion i'll have to check if i have him already on the he attacks one enemy two times each hit has a 40 percent chance of placing stun debuff for one turn that's a 50 percent chance of turn single target on the enemy 80 percent chance booked up to 100 of decreasing the target storm meter by 75 percent 100 percent storm meter decrease if this skill fully depletes the target storm meter also has an 80 percent chance of placing stun so it's all about stun and damage damage based on attack i've never built this champion or used him in the game will always use this skill instead of the default skill when counter attacking that's a nice one this skill will not be blocked by block after skills. A passive that cannot be blocked by block. Oh, no, it's an active skill. Not a passive. 
15% more damage to bosses and receives less damage from them. Why is nobody talking about this champion? Because everything he does is, is single target, single target and stun, stun, you can't stun bosses, right? Immune to stun the boss. He's actually useful in some places. Let me quickly go see if I have him already in my team from the Barbarian faction. Let me quickly check. No, that's not it. Guardian Ring, Faction Guardian, Barbarian, Legendary. I don't have him. So No, I do have him. This is actually my third copy. <laughs> I have one, two, three. This is my third copy of him and I've never built him or used him. So slowly but surely we're getting that Barbarian Faction almost full. Before I keep pulling though, let me make sure I'm not losing count of my shards and go pull seven instead of so. We're almost right here at the end. So I got some voids. Now, if I wanted... No, I still have a lot, a long way to go. I'll put one more secret and use Ancient Shard to complete the... I mean, use Mystery Shard to complete the rest on my account. I'll not go crazy and use all my... Because champion training is going on, we'll need to summon some Mystery Shards anyways to get some food, right? So let me just do one more. One more for the road. It will be crazy if I get another Legendary though. Nope, just an epic. So that's the main account. Royal Guard is part of the 10x, so 10x is, is not a scam sometimes. I forgot to put my voice charts, but while editing, I realized this and I was like, let me record me pulling my four rares from voice, right? The first one was a rare, no problem, as expected. The second one was also a rare, but check out what happens. I was not expecting it. Check out. I wasn't expecting to get anything, so I just pulled my four shards while I was not speaking or even on cam. And here it is, Acrisia in my account how lucky i am in this shard pool let me just pull the last one because there's no need to complete it with the mystery shards i got the acrisia i won the 10x so today 10x is not a scam we did get the shimmer we did get the acrisia my account is crazy this is my main account by the way i was just editing the video i was like oh i forgot to pull four more of my void shards and i did on my main account and i got her which will get me to the number of points I need for this summon rush. So I guess I'll just cut this one into the middle of the video and put it in. So I'll use Mystery Shard to complete the rest. <laughs> Woo! We are on the Noob to Pro right now, right? Let me switch. That's the Noob, noob to Pro. Two Secret Shards, 1000 points. It's Void Shards, about 980 points. 49, about 960 points. So with all these shards pulled, I can I can get the 3000 points required. I thought the Noob to Pro will have a lesser point requirement because we are at level 49 when this um, summon rush started. We are at level 49 and they still grouped us at the 3000 point mark. And I was like, so it makes no difference, right? It made a difference for, for Dragon. It made a difference a little bit for maybe other dungeons content, but for shard pool it makes no difference where you are you get grouped in that everybody gets grouped in the same level that means you need the shards to complete this fusion so with 3000 points in mind i have no choice but to pull my two secrets out of the way first we're also hoping to get a geomancer i didn't create space come on i thought i made some space i'll be right back let me make, make some space all right i'm back i made some space let me go right ahead and start with the hottest shards which is the secret shards give me a geomancer and somebody i can use in the clan boss not a legendary and it's definitely not a geomancer it's a tenor sale one that we might only build for faction war this champion is known for as a good healer he has an a1 that has a chance to put the enemy on sleep a1 useful a little bit increased defense on all allies for two turns is 
um, useful in the clan boss, but it doesn't bring anything else to that. Heals all allies by 25% of this champion's max HP. So I have him built, I have a champion guard about him, but he's not going to help us in the clan, in the Noob to Pro series, except only for faction wars right now. Decrease the duration of all enemies, um, of all enemy debuffs by one turn. Enemies buff, I mean, by one turn. Where's my Geomancer? Come on, let's see if we can get something. I wanted to keep one more secret until that's a legendary on the Noob to Pro and it's a Michinaki. This account is extremely lucky. Is this good or bad? I forget. It's good. I forget. I've not built him on my main account, but he's actually a good champion. Shadow King faction champion Noob to Pro was not expecting anything like this to happen. But here we are. I wish this happened during a champion chase. But we are happy to get our well, is this our second second legendary from Shards? The first one was Jintoro. Which we are still not built yet. We are still focused on attack. Now we are here we are with another one. This account is gonna beat this noob to pro series is gonna go far. Level 25 dungeons. Let's see how this champion can help us in dungeons or in clan boss. HP burn on the A1. Attacks all enemies, 75% chance of placing decrease defense. So it just replaces my decrease defense champion. Trait on cooldown decrease defense. Sometimes percent chance of placing decrease attack along on for two turns on enemies under hex. So that's the hex condition. I hope he places the hex though. Attacks on enemies two times. The first hit removes all buffs from the enemy from the target. Second hit places hex. Damn. So is he decrease defense champion or is he a hex champion? Hydra. Noom to prove is gonna go up hard on Hydra with this champion. Whenever an ally attacks an enemy under hex debuff, this champion also has a 50% chance of teaming up to join the attack. Doesn't work against Hydra exposed next though. That's an amazing champion. Defense in all battles, he's gonna be in the, in the leader slot in all battles. He's gonna be in every battle because of that decrease attack. Hopefully the hex will be available for 3 turns because of the masteries that will put on him so that we can then go along and use our decrease defense so maybe we want to start the battle with hex before we go along with this he has to be built fast for him to be able to rotate around these skills damn noob to pro is extremely lucky i asked for a geomancer i got a legendary instead i'm happy we're happy even if we are using all our shots right now to go for this crazy uh, fusion we are getting legendaries along the way and i'm glad so even right now if we fail the fusion along the way we still won in a way. Now, the Noob to Pro still has no choice but to still pull Void Shard on this account because we need to make up the points one way or the other. Which Void Ray am I looking for? Cold Hearts. Do, we don't have a Cold Heart on the account yet. Before you pull the Shard, you should say the name of the champion you want. Cold Hearts. Let's see if we can get her. I'm not even looking for crazy epics, but let's see if we can get one epic at least. Our first void rare was not that great. But now we are pulling a lot more void shots and none is useful right now. Where is my cold heart? Come on, we need her for spider. Even if we are beating spider 10, she's going to be using in fire knight. We need to start getting this champion. This is the best time to get them and still no cold heart. Only three more to go. Before we take a look at our point scoring to see how far we've gone in this summon rush. That's an epic and it's... Noob to Pro is ready. Noob to Pro is ready. Noob to Pro is ready. I'm, here I am looking for a cold art and I got an Inquisitor Shamel. This account is going crazy. He's not going to be built only for Hydra build. This champion will be built in general build. So I can use him in more places than one. Inquisitor Shamel, my first Void Epic on the account, and here it is. It's a 10x for him also, so it makes sense that we, had, we, get, we didn't get scammed this time by the 10x. We got lucky this time around on 10x. Let's keep going though, we can't stop until all the shots are gone. If they just, just want to make it better for me, just give me Cold Heart on this last Void Shard. Just give me Cold Heart Raid. Please. And it's sick. Skeleton. All right, let's see how many points we are at sitting right now on the Noob to Pro before we go ahead and pull more shards. Let's see, Summon Rush. Looking for that 3,000 points mark. A lot of 
things to pick up hold on don't pick up the energy yet and now I'm, i can do this with mystery shots i can't i don't have 1000 mystery shots i'm currently at 1962 points that's still about 1040 1000 points to go let's say 1040 to go so with this number of points to go i could do 500 for mystery shots i mean for secret shots what am i coming 500 for ancient shots and 500 for mystery shots so to do 500 points for um ancient shots let me point out the calc to get an exact number of points i need that's 25 so i can pull 25 ancient shards and then use my mystery shards to complete the rest of the way so i'll need to pull 500 mystery shards or about 600 mystery shards to get this done so let's just go do 25 ancient why am i why am i keeping on holding on to ancient shards is because it gives the lowest amount of points for summon rush you see that's why i didn't even start with ancient shards even if it's the less valuable for summon rush is it's, it's the less valuable so that's why i held on to it and next week is 2x on ancient well is it next week yeah next week during the two um the summon the champion chase that's why i want to keep this and see which epics we can get from the ancient shards to help us with our champion chase i'm hoping we'll get more than one or two epic so that's why this is the last shot you should think of spending right here champion training is going on you want to farm your mystery shots you don't have to do this summon rush today that's something to note i just wanted to put out the video today but you could hold on farm a lot more campaign after your dragon of course do a lot of more campaign farming and then see how many more mystery shots you could add maybe you can get up to 1000 mystery shots and then that will help you to even save like if I get 1,000 mystery shards right now, it will help me save my entire engine shard 49. So maybe I should hold on and just farm more campaign, more campaign, more campaign, finish champion training, and then see how many mystery shards. Probably at 700. I can't get up to 500 more mystery shards for just... I don't have enough energy for that. I'm doing most of this champion training in the tavern. All right, let me go ahead and do just do 25. 10 pool. Let's go in strong. geomancer geomancer don't tax me come on did i just exhaust my luck and now we're gonna be taxed at least we're getting food that we can spend in the champion training 10 more tem temple temple again let's go strong no need to do single pools because four minutes before a server reset or a maintenance happens don't tax me twice one epic and it's one that we'll never build or never use not even for faction wars Hood. that was a rough one i'd still have five more to go five more ancient shots to go let me go single pulls on that one i really need that 500 points so i can use mystery shots to complete the rest that's my second elhain now if i get duplicates of elhain i'll copy it like this i'll put them in faction guardians that's an epic and it's still not geoman sir what is happening where is where is my 10x well 10x happened for inquisitor but not right now crimson helm She's useful at least, like she can solo the boomer still, right? She, there's a strategy where she can solo something. I forget whether it's she or somebody else. Let's keep going. That's the third one. Useful somewhere, but we're gonna use as food for now, barbarian. The fourth one. Give me one more epic. I wish I could get Geomancer. And the last one. No geomancer for us this time around iron clad head back to the points and see how we're doing i want to get everything done today because i don't want to wait until saturday or sunday and there we are how many more to go a little bit over 500 462 so 500 and something i'll use mystery shard to complete the rest there is no need for me to waste the rest of my ancient shard for this little point so that's what i'm going to be doing right here on the account you guys Tell me how your shard pools are going. I'm interested in knowing because the noob to pro just got lucky, got a legendary. My main account got lucky, get a legendary, got an epic Inquisitor Shamel, and that's how I'm gonna end it, guys. 
I don't regret going for this fusion because I did get something out of it. Now, even if I end the world with three of the epics and I never fuse this legendary champion at the end, I'll still be contented with it. But you can see how I did my maths. I opened my calculator. I planned how many shots I wanted to pull and I know how much I'm going to save for the champion chase. And I'm also going to keep some fusions right here that I can do for the champion chase in terms of Broadmoor or Relic Keeper and all that. I'm getting ready for the champion chase. Don't relax keep going hard we hope they do something about this energy that we are out of energy and um, yeah and the point seems a little bit further than they, they should i hope they do something about it and give us some energy some promo code or some way somehow maybe even when this resets give us another 100 energy 1000 energy from here from the clan shop we're hoping it happens again help me hit like in this video so you can have good luck on your shard pools the same way i got lucky you can get lucky on your shard pools so you don't just get all tax 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 even in your secret shards i hope you good luck with your shard pools and i'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow for another um noob to pro emic trunkard fusion update because that's what this entire week or these two weeks is going to be about how we're going to complete this fusion i hope this one was interesting to you guys later guys